Greetings, everyone. This is Spot, and welcome to Shadowrun Hong Kong. Ah, I apologize for the wait. I was on the press list for a key, and I was hoping to get it before it launched, but that didn't happen, so I just got it. Yay. Um, uh, such are the pains of having a small channel. Hopefully, that will be resolved in the future. Yay. But, yes, awesome. Love me some cyberpunk. Love me the other Shadowrun Returns games. Awesome. I will notice, actually, I just I just noticed, actually, that this doesn't actually say Returns on it. it just Shadowrun Hong Kong. I wonder if that's a thing. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. Um, I'm just going to do a new game here. Uh, that's the first time I've actually clicked that button, so everything here, everything from here on is new to me. Um, okay, yeah, we're it's actually ha having us uh, uh, pick our campaign here, I guess. Um, see, I, I assume that this actually goes to, uh, yeah, Steam. P probably goes to the workshop. Very awesome. Okay. I don't know if very awesome is actually a term, I guess. Sh should be. Although the word very is a bit lazy, I've heard. I'm not a writer, though, so I don't have to care. All right, launch campaign. Uh, select difficulty. Difficulty? Difficulty? Difficulty. Uh, setting to, set to normal currently. Uh, easy difficulty is for new players or players more interested in seeing the story. Normal difficulty provides a balanced combat experience. Hard difficulties for players returning for a second playthrough. Okay. Awesome. Usually, if I was playing by myself, I would actually choose easy because I am always more interested in the story. I, I, love, I love story. Um, that's why I read so much. Um, but in this case, because we're doing an, a Let's Play and I don't want people to get bored or anything, and not everyone likes the story quite as much as I do, um, we'll do normal. And I, I will I will say right here, this is a good point to point out, if you have not watched a um, my previous run-throughs of Shadowrun or any games like this, I am somewhat of a lore whore, even though it rhymes. Uh, maybe especially because it rhymes. Um, and so I will pretty much read everything. Um, so, um, unfortunately, I don't do really good accents or voices, which sucks, because that would make me a lot more entertaining. Ha! Huh. Okay, here we go. I have no idea what's coming. Ah, character creation. Awesome. Okay. So, do we want to go with a boy or a girl? Um, I guess I'm going to go with male again. I don't, I don't think this changes anything. Let me see. Yeah, there's no statistical differences, so the mechanics are exactly the same. I think everything is based on race and probably... Class. I don't even know if there's classes. I don't think there are classes in Shadowrun. It's been a while. So, all right. So, doing archetype here. Um, da, 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 da. There's elf, human, elf, a dwarf, orc, and troll. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, I'm not going to go through and read all of these out loud because it, yeah. I'm, if, if it's like most RPGs, humans are pretty much like the balanced one. Uh, they're... Uh, they're jacks of all trades, masters of none type thing. Uh, they have a plus three to karma. Okay. And karma, if I recall correctly, it has been a long time, is the actual experience point. So instead of getting experience points, you get karma. That's what you spend, I believe, on stuffs. Um, max stats. So all of the, yeah, they're, they're nine all the way across. And elves are... Um, elves are actually kind of awesome actually I would I would expect for humans because the, well oh, okay that's what it is they start with plus three but their max their max is not higher I would expect for like humans to have a max of like 10 all the way across if they're if it's just you know, the same but they're actually not like it looks like nine is the lowest yeah oh actually there's a charisma of eight on orcs there's a charisma of six on trolls but yeah, it's nine is not especially high. It's just very, very average. Very, very is definitely not correct. But anyway, um, so yes, uh, elves are quicker and they're more charismatic um, than humans. Uh, let's see. Yeah, dwarves have high strength. Um, the the normal things you, you you would expect. Their willpower is higher. Their bodies higher. Yes, um, you know, dwarves are the normal, even fantasy. They're they're little, you know, like compact, just solid muscle type uh, thing, which makes sense. Um, interestingly enough, their charisma is the same as humans. Uh, orcs have um, even a greater body than dwarves, uh, but the strength is the same, which is interesting. Their willpower is not as good, though. 
and their charisma uh, is a little bit lower. And then trolls, let's see here. Oh, and there's also modifiers here. Elves have plus one to charisma. Okay. I think that's a general, so I don't know if that impacts the max. I assume that means you could get 12 in charisma, and then you'd have the plus one on top of it. Active modifier. And dwarves, it's willpower, so they could actually get 12, I'm assuming. Uh, I don't know why they would list it as a plus one if it's not on top of the maximum. And orcs get plus one to body. And trolls get plus one to body and strength, probably to counteract their really shitty charisma and intelligence. And quickness isn't that great, but I wouldn't call it shitty. Um, okay, so I think what I'm going to do here is go for... Do we want karma to start or charisma? I want to go with charisma. I think I went with um, an elf here. I think I went with uh, a human last time. Also, uh, in Shadowrun, uh, the being non-human is a pretty substantial thing, right? There's a lot of um, uh, racist stuff, um, which is funny because when we say racist in general, it's actually not correct term, really, because there are we're all humans. <laughs> uh, in this particular case, it actually applies, which, uh, although these are these are, uh, well, some of them used to be human. It's it's uh, Go read Shadowrun lore. It's awesome. Alright, so yes, we're, we're going to go with an elf and uh, do we want a street samurai, a mage, a decker, a shaman, a rigger, a physical adept, or none. Okay, so a street samurai is like... Um, yeah, again, like their key attributes are body strength and quickness. They're street samurai. Think of, um, uh, you know, the old samurai, that they, they tend to like things like, uh, uh, like yeah, like throwing weapons, dodge, etc. More like samurai slash ninja-y, uh, but not, not necessarily with the total Asian influence, although Shadowrun has a lot of Asian influence, especially this one, obviously. Uh, but yeah, so um, I guess I could just read it instead of trying to, They're just freelance operators. Um, yeah, street honor, warrior practices, etc. Um, the mage is, they actually use um, spells and things like that. Uh, they use willpower, obviously. A decker is pretty much a, a, a hacker. Um, and they use a deck to jack into the matrix. Um, yes, if you're wondering, um, the Matrix showed up uh, in Shadowrun as a name way before the Wachowski brothers got it. But but Shadowrun was obviously uh, one of the large influences on the Matrix films. Anyway, all right. Um, now, the thing about the Decker is that normally I wouldn't want to run a Decker uh, in Shadowrun Returns because I never liked the Matrix gameplay, but uh, supposedly they've changed it a lot. They've changed the art style and they've actually um, completely revamped the Matrix gameplay. So I don't think I'm going to play a Decker, but um, hopefully it'll be worth doing. A Shaman, they can actually uh, um, uh, summon spirits and, uh, you know, point them to do stuff and blah, blah, blah. In the tabletop stuff, it's a lot more complicated, but but, but in here, it's more or less like um, kind of a, kind of like having uh, pets, uh, NPCs of some kind, which you can control. And but but it's a little bit more complicated than that. Is in they're they're only around for a certain amount of time. Sometimes sometimes they go away. They can be taken away from you. They can be turned against you by other shamans, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, a rigger is kind of a support type engineer type role, um, and a physical adept, I believe, is just physical adept. They're just Ooh, you know, um, so yeah. So because we're an elf and we have quickness, primarily quickness, which is really good, and we're going to have the charisma, I think we're going to probably go with Street Samurai because I think it just makes sense. So uh, let's see here. Let's pick our profile picture. Do do do. Now, this one would be funny because I have a shaved head, but yeah. Now, we're not actually going with a... De if we were going with a Decker, that would actually look kind of cool. We're not female. Although, the thing is, sometimes you can't tell because elves do... Um, even male elves do uh, have a bit of a f feminine look, look to them. Uh, not horribly or anything, just... That's pretty interesting. What looks like a street samurai? We could go with this guy. He's got... Actually, he doesn't have a shaved head. 
kind of. He just got these really, really bad receding hairline there. This actually looks more like me. I mean, not exactly like me, but more like me. Hmm. Do, 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 do. These are all really cool. I love this art style. It's awesome. Okay. Ooh, holy crap. That's some scary stuff. That guy looks like a vampire. That guy looks like a vampire gangster. Okay. All right, so let's go back around. Have we flipped through? Yes, we have. Okay, let's go with, um, what was the other guy? Was looking at? This guy. Let's go with this guy. This is fine. All right. Uh, hairstyle, beard, it's fine. He looks great. All right. Uh, stats. Spend your karma. Karma represents the experience characters earn while running the shadows and achieving goals. Karma is used to improve attributes and skills. An attribute or skill rating can be increased by spending karma equal to the next increment of that rating. Thus, improving your body from four to five requires you to spend five karma. You have some karma available now to customize your character. And so, and just uh, expanding on that, to go from five to six would cost you six karma, right? Um, okay, so what do we got? We are, okay, so yeah, we've got body, quickness, strength, intelligence, willpower, and charisma. Actually, they've they totally changed the interface for this. Assuming that this is the same interface that you use in game. I like this one better. It's easier to get around. The other one you had to scroll through and stuff and it was kind of odd. Um, body. Okay, so here I think we can we can unlock some of these. Yeah, I don't know how much they cost. Uh, this is this rank is somewhere affinity five and it's beyond the current. Oh, right. Okay, so these are actually abilities that, that you, you can get, right? And um, going beyond the base you can't do so we would have to so for example th this is a good example we could uh, we it looks like we actually have do we have this already additional cyberware i think we have this maybe already anyway we couldn't get this one for example until we bought body five if that makes sense and if there were other uh things in here like um yeah we can't get uh, any of these because we don't have any drone combat it's beyond the current rank of drone control right yeah which is this one so we have to get one in order to get drone combat that's kind of how it works um it would kind of be better i think if like some of these were like just like little trees if like the drone combat was indented just a little bit so you could tell it was it had this as a dependency but you know this works Okay, and this is for charisma and for uh, conjuring and things like that, spirit control. Okay, so we we started with um, uh, high charisma, if I remember correctly. I don't know if we actually want to do conjuring stuff. We're we're street samurai, so we want to go with quickness and body is probably what we're looking for. So cyberware affinity one unlocks additional cyberware such as the hand razor cyber weapon. And this is the twin slash ability for hand raisers. I'm assuming that ha are hand raisers like swords? Unlocks faint attack for spurs and compound attack for hand raisers. Then we have quickness, which we have dodge. Dodge further reduces the chance to be hit by physical attacks. Characters with high dodge are less likely to be attacked by their teammates than their teammates. Well, less likely to be attacked by their teammates. Huh? Uh, Ranged combat, uh, blah, 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 blah. use calculate chance to hit with ranged weapons, etc. And then, yeah, of course, under here you have pistol, submachine gun, etc., etc. Um, actually, it looks like it's interesting that 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 hand, hand razor stuff isn't in. Oh, melee weapons are here. So actually, going going with uh, street samurai is maybe not the best idea as a uh, an elf. That's okay. We'll make it work. All right. So here, this is a throwing weapon. Increases thrown blade chance to hit by fifteen percent. Uh, and it has a cooldown. Interesting. Aimed throw is what it is. 
So it will probably do, and this actually used to calculate the chance to hit with melee and thrown weapons, throwing weapons, increases the damage value of melee attacks. Also determines how far a grenade can be thrown. Oh, that's good to know. So if we do this one, I think this will use four. Should drop us to 22? Yes, okay. So yeah, and you'll notice it does that thing here where we can see, okay, actually it does have a line here that shows some interesting stuff. So close combat. Um, this is just aimed. This doesn't actually give us access to any other stuff. It's just that. So now we may, let's do that for a second. So street samurai, we may want to actually go directly into stuff like submachine guns or rifles. It depends. Um, spray and pay hits adjacent targets, but accuracy is reduced. This is critical damage percentage visible. That's interesting. So it actually shows you aim shot increases the chance to hit by 10%. All right. So let's put two in dodge because dodge is good. We might actually want to put three in dodge. Let's put three in dodge. And then we'll put two in range combat. We'll grab this in submachine gun. Uh, increases to hit by 15%. Pierce up two armor. Cooldown is three rounds. Well, that is two rounds. That's for shotgun. All right. Do, 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 do. Strength. Let's look at our, our intelligence here. Do we want any decking on this character? I'm going to think no. Okay, so we're not going to do anything with willpower power at the moment. Uh, although, increasing it um, increases your resistance against magical attacks. So that's something to keep in mind. Charisma Conjuring Spirit Submarine Spirit Control. Yeah, and see, uh, Charisma will give uh, you etiquettes, and we'll probably choose etiquettes in this creation process. And etiquettes um, are uh, kind of like categories of uh, experience, kind of not like experience you earn, but like experience you have ha you've had, uh, like like street etiquette. Like you, you've actually been on the streets, you know how to talk to people on the streets, so you get more conversation options if you have that, or corporate etiquette and things like that. Um, so this actually gives you a new etiquette, so we would actually get two of them, which is quite interesting and can be helpful. You, you can bypass certain like complete sections and missions so you can get uh, through them easier if you have more etiquette. What does this give you? Use to calculate the chance to control spirits, increase the chance to hit with offensive conjuring spells. Yeah. Um, unlocks etiquette that affect conversations. Yeah, I think these will actually give you more etiquette options in, in the beginning. And then your level of charisma will impact what type of um, options you can get in conversations. So we might want to throw something in there. Maybe not in the creation here, though. Okay, I'm going to uh, bypass willpower for the moment. Biotech. Grants a bonus to the hit points recovered when using a med, med, med kit. That's good. We'll, we'll probably actually have to throw one in there. Because that's that's good. He's being controlled the effectiveness of Decker's expert systems programs in the Matrix. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to go Decker with this guy yet. But we'll probably have to get a Decker. Or we could throw one in Decking. Um, just so we have something. But I don't know if it's worth it. Hmm. And enemy HP visible. Oh, that's worth it. I'm going to grab that. I want it. We can also do drone stuff. Drones are cool. They Drones are actually, when, when I was saying that, like, uh, summoned stuff for a shaman are like pets, uh, but they're kind of more complicated. Drones are pretty much pets, period. Like, they're, they're like, on the board. You can use them, like, like you can use a person. They have their own abilities, etc. I don't think you can upgrade them specifically but you can equip you can upgrade this to actually get access to better drones if that makes sense um i think this guy would actually maybe be better with a drone than decking but we'll come back to that in a minute all right um i'm actually going to throw one in shotgun and go ahead and grab this submachine gun here because we're definitely going to be using a submachine gun Strength and do we want to get this is thrown blade chance? Do we want to do this or actually go into melee? I think we're actually going to go into melee. There we go. 
So this, uh, yes, up to two armor. Wonderful. So we're down to 10. Got body here. Unlocks additional cyberware, such as the hand razor cyber weapon. Yeah. I don't know if we actually want to do this here. We could also throw... Quickness is actually a chance to hit. So we'll probably throw four in that. Because I think that that's actually very valuable. Additional weapon slot. Oh, that's intriguing. Oh, I think that's actually worth having. An additional weapon slot. So the main component, how, how many weapons will we have, period? Use to calculate the chance to hit with rank, right? Such as firearms, right, right, right. Increasing this skill unlocks an additional weapon slot. And the overwatch ability. Okay, overwatch is good. Um... So that's a slot. This is an additional slot. This is additional, right? So I'm going to assume that this brings us up from one to two. Interesting. So I'm not sure if we actually have three or... Interesting. All right. So we'll do that. And we may just save the other three for now. Did, did we get this? Yes, we did. All right. Yeah, let's just save the other three for now. We're going to do a confirm here. Um, you may spend karma later at any time by access. Yes, that's why we want to confirm. Okay, here's our etiquette. Etiquette's about knowing how to behave in various social situations. The right etiquette can give you an edge in certain conversations. Choose an etiquette from the list below. Choosing an etiquette does not cost karma, and each etiquette can only be chosen once. So um, we could go with corporate, security, gang, socialite, shadow runner, or academic. Um... I'm gonna go with corporate because if we, I'm thinking we're gonna be doing some runs in corporations and when you're in there it actually helps to be able to talk to those people so I mean there's there's pros and cons of all of them obviously but I'm gonna do confirm here Ooh, character what do we want to name our character um our character spot do I have to have a last name um I don't know I don't know what the last name is actually Let's make our street name Spot. And then we'll do this as, uh, hmm. What do we want to do? I wasn't sure I was gonna have to do this. Uh, Ash. My cat is named Ash. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know. Um, we could do Preston, Ash Preston. That just sounds odd. It's fine. It'll work. Okay, so spot. Uh, confirm. Your brain schemes. You have one new message. Uh, hi. It's Raymond. I hope I have the right number. I know we haven't spoken in a while, but I need your help. Remember the day I took you and Duncan off the streets? I told you that the past is just a story, that if you can just accept that, your past loses all power over you. Yeah. <laughs> I was wrong. Oh, that's nice. I'm on my way to Hong Kong now to finish something I should have faced a long time ago. And I need you with me. I know we're not blood and we didn't leave things in a good place, but you and Duncan are the only real family I have. Please, if our past means anything to you, meet me in Hong Kong right away. I'll explain more when you get here. I'm begging you. I'm almost out of time. From that, look like you were out of time. I've been looking forward to this game for so long. Quite excited. Oh. 
Hard landing. Raymond Black, the old man gave you a home once, took you and Duncan off the green, gang-ridden streets of the barrens, sheltered, educated, slapped sense into you both, until you almost resembled productive members of society. And then you took off, left it all behind, landed behind bars for a time, tried to start a new life after that. It's been eight years since you've heard Raymond's voice, until out of the blue, you got this cryptic message, a plea for help. Meet me in Hong Kong right away. And, wired to your account, enough Noonion to pay for the flight and then some. The descent is rough. A squall comes out of nowhere, sending a solid sheet of rain punching into the suborbital transport. With a ragged shudder, the plane finally skids to a halt at the edge of the Chiklap Kok. Chiklap Kok. Um, tarmac. I know, I slaughtered it, sorry. An hour and an interminable number of emotionless security checkpoints later, you hail a water taxi to Victoria Harbor. Hong Kong looms ahead, pulsing with energy. Much like this continue button right here. All right. So, here we go. Very nice. All right, guys. I'm going to put a cut right here. I apologize, but it's been uh, almost 28 minutes. Actually, about 28 minutes right now. Uh, you know, character creation takes a while. But uh, yes, in the next one, please come back and we will continue from right here and we will start our story. So thanks for hanging out. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you'd like to see more, just click subscribe. Come say hi to me on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, any of those. I hope to see you next time.